hello friends this is tanmay and this i am uploading these videos to learn unix operating system so this is my first video i am uploading it so first in first video i will be telling you what is unix and why we need it why it is so popular okay so let's start so for first thing which come in our mind when we learn any new thing like we are learning unix here so first thing what is unix where it came from why we need it don't worry we will be learning these things within few minutes okay so what is unix unix is an operating system what is an operating system operating system it is itself a software which communicate between the hardware and the applications of the system okay so without wasting our much time uh, i will be telling you what is unix history where it came from okay so the history of unix dates back to mid 1960s when the massachusetts institute of technology at and labs and general electric were jointly developing an experimental time sharing operating system called mutix for ge645 mainframe what these institutes institutes are doing they were developing a software which is time sharing they want to develop a uh, operating system which can be shared by multiple users at the same time before that the operating systems were uh used by the users one user at a time so they want this type of system multix introduced many in innovations but had many problems multix when the developers were developing the multix operating system they they were uh getting new things day on day so but the complexity of this operating system was much complex and much large so they got some problem and they they frustrated from this and they uh stopped its development so bell labs frustrated by size of size and complexity of multix but not the aim slowly pulled out the project they pulled out the project but not the aim their last research researchers to leave multix Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, Doug McClary, and Joe Osana decided to redo the work on much smaller scale. They were developing a huge operating system. They get frustrated from that, from its complexity. So they decided to develop a small operating system like this, uh, which has the capability to uh, for time sharing operating system. so what they wanted was a general operating system running on running on more than one type of hardware also they want that the operating system should be capable to run on more than one hardware what was happening in the past that the operating system which were developing at that time they are uh, they are developed for only Uh, one type of hardware if they if we put these uh, operating systems into some other hardware they will not work so they wanted that a general operating system which can they run on any hardware these are the big famous names we all know them so here is dennis richi and kim thompson these two people with with the help of each other make a make an operating system which is called unix operating system so what they decided they get frustrated from multix and they wanted a general purpose operating system they built a operating they do the whole work and they developed a new operating system by using a c language which itself developed by dennis richi so they made an operating system which is developed in c 
that called the Unix operating system. Now we know how the Unix operating system developed and who developed them, the, this operating system. Okay. So in 1973, Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie rewrote the entire system in C, a high level language more readable than assembler. That was invented by Dennis Ritchie himself. In the past, the operating system was developed in a assembly language, but this operating system was developed in a C language. The portability become one of the strongest feature of Unix. It can be port portable from one hardware to another without uh, much disturbance. Unlike DOS and Windows, Unix can be used by multiple users concurrently. Unix is a time sharing operating system. Multiple users can work on it without any problem. If you are working on it, your friend can also work on another system by accessing the server. So you, your friend and multiple other users can access the same server at the same time. So Unix became a brand and uh, who will handle it? So the Unix was first developed by uh, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. Then the Unix business was sent to Nobel company, a company called Nobel who later turned over the Unix trademark to the standard body called XOpen now which is merged with the open group you can open the unix.org website and find that name the open group this is the trademark holder of Unix okay this is the Unix of uh, architecture we will be learning this architecture as we will progress it through our videos uh, and I will be telling you what is hardware, what is kernel, cell and other commands of Unix. Till then, goodbye. And this, this is the thing. Uh, this is the Unix. Uh, now you, you might be getting what is, how Unix is developed and why we use Unix. This is a time sharing system. That is why we use it. And where it came from it developed in C Dennis Ritchie and the Kane Thompson the two uh, computer scientists who developed it so uh, wait for my next video till then goodbye and if you have any queries then comment down below and if you like it then give a thumbs up and then till then I will be meeting you in next video till then goodbye